Number 10. From the labels of several commercial products, prepare a list of six ionic compounds in the products, and for each compound, write the formula. You may need to look up some formulas in a suitable reference. Okie dokie. So you could go around your house and pick up, you know, commercial products and look at the ingredients and see if you can spot any ionic compounds. Remember that an ionic compound technically should have two things. It should have a metal name in front with a non-metal name at the end. So, for example, you could see sodium chloride, right? Sodium is the metal Na, and chloride comes from the non-metal chlorine, which is Cl. Now, we haven't gone into how to actually name compounds, so that's, I think, a couple of questions down when we actually do nomenclature, but they do provide a very handy everyday ionic compounds chart in the textbook. And I think this is more beneficial for you guys than trying to look at the commercial products around your house. So for this, and for this question, they want you to just give the compound with the appropriate formula. So for example, the one that I just gave, sodium chloride, this would just be NaCl. And here it is, it's the first one. Sodium chloride is NaCl. So there's one sodium and one chlorine. And what is sodium chloride? What's NaCl? Oh, well, that's just a fancy way of saying table salt. That's basically it, the salt that you use to salt up your food, to, you know, put it in the boiling water when you make your pasta. That's sodium chloride. So it's just table salt. So basically, I would go down this list that they provide you in your textbook and pick six of these, but then just kind of know where you would find these. I'm not going to go over each one of them here, but some of them are pretty important to know. So like when they talk about fluoride in toothpaste, remember that fluoride is just used because of it's, it's known to prevent cavities, but the fluoride that they majoritively use is NaF, which is sodium fluoride. Na is the sodium part, and the F is the fluoride fluorine part. And that's used in toothpaste, which is stated right here. A couple of different things. So, you know, baking soda, that's the common way of saying sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate is NaHCO3, and that's used for when you cook, but also when you bake. So you use a lot of baking soda when you you know, have a bread rise. So a lot of baking, you use baking soda. Um, if I scroll down this stuff, let's see, antacids. Those are like your Pepto-Bismol, Maalox, Tums, Tums, Tums. So um, ingredients used in antacids are calcium carbonate, which is CaCO3. You have magnesium hydroxide, MgOH2, aluminum hydroxide, which is AlOH3. So those three are used in antacids to kind of make your tummy feel a little better if it's too acidic. Those are what antacids do. They basically relieve the stomach of acidity. They add a little base to it. Um, if you guys ever tried to make soap before, you might use something called lye. Lye is just a old school term for a base. And in this case, it's sodium hydroxide, NaOH. Other lyes are LiOH. I personally used LiOH when I was making my soap. And by the way, soap is really fun to make. And if you go on to organic chemistry, you will definitely make soap. That's probably one of the labs that you guys will do. So yeah, so any of these, just pick six, write the compounds with the formulas. And just to reiterate, the actual word is the compound. So if I just put over here, compound would be uh, sodium chloride. And then the formula that they want is the actual NaCl. So yeah. And one last one that I want to point out, this one is pretty important, like in for everyday uh, foods and stuff. Sodium sulfite, which is Na2SO3, this is used as a preservative. Sulfites, you probably have heard of, 
come from just the end of sodium sulfite. There are a lot of different sulfites, but this one specifically is a preservative, and sulfites are basically used to preserve a lot of things. If you've probably bought it and it's not like a whole food, like a fruit vegetable, sometimes they even put uh, seafood. In, they put preservatives in seafood, like like shrimp. They'll sometimes use preservatives. But beer has preservatives. Wines have preservatives. Now they try to market it, you know, where they say, this wine has no sulfites. Or uh, with um, sausages, sometimes they'll say, you know, this sausage has no sulfites. That's what they're talking about, this compound here. All right, so sodium sulfite, there's a different other sulfites, but just know that sulfites are used for preserving your food. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, so just pick six, write the compound, write the formula, and you are done with this number. All right, pretty simple. Um, stay tuned for when we actually learn how to make the formulas from the compounds. I think that's like 10 questions from now, but I'll see you there. All right, as far as now, Study hard. I'll see you guys in the next question. Have an awesome day.